subscribe to my channel making impossible and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any one of my upcoming videos yo what's up friends i'm shil azari and welcome back to making impossible the channel that teaches you how to make the impossible and be the smartest person in the room in today's video i'm going to be teaching you the card trick that matt franco did at america's got talent finals for which he won the show this is an impressive card trick it's self-working it does need a little bit of setup but it's amazing at the end because of the result that's going to happen so without any further ado let's start our today's video <laughs> This week's Instagram feature goes to Hersh Magic. Follow him on Instagram. Link will be given in the video description. I'll feature one lucky Instagram user every Monday in my Smack That Monday episodes. If you want your Instagram profile or page to be featured in my next Smack That Monday episode, follow the simple steps that are given in the video description. So now, let's continue. Okay guys, this is what the card trick looks like. Now as you can see over here, I have these two deck of cards. And I want you to select one of this and let's say you select this one So I want you to keep this till the end of the trick and I'm just gonna use this deck of cards to do the trick So at this point, I'm just gonna take out the cards in front of you and give them a good shuffle Okay, so I'm just gonna just divide this deck of cards into half just like that and then I'm just going to shuffle these cards right in front of you Just like that Okay, so as you can see over here the cards got shuffled and at this point, all I'm going to do is, I'm just going to select two random play cards from this deck of cards, one red and one black, okay? And let's see which cards can I take out. I'm going to go with uh, this uh, this red card, and I think I'm going to go with uh, this, this black card, okay? So I have selected these two random playing cards, the red and the black, okay? Now at this point, all I want you to do is take this deck of cards, and deal from the top of the playing card, sorry, from the top of the deck, near the playing card, near the same color playing card. If you think this is a red card, you're gonna deal this card near the red card. If you think this is a black card, then you're gonna take this card and deal near the black card and make a pile just like that. Keep dealing on just like that using your intuition without seeing the card. So since I don't have a spectator, I'm gonna do the entire work. So I think this is a red card. I'm just going to keep it over here. I think this is a black. I'm going to keep it over here. And I think this is another black card. So I'm going to keep it over here. So like this, I'm just going to keep dealing on and make this uh, two piles filled until I have all the cards gone from my left hand. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these cards. Uh, I think this is a red card. I'm going to keep it over here. I think this is a black. red this is black now at this point all I'm gonna do is as you can see I am making two piles of cards these are red I think so and this is black that I also think so so at this point all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna interchange the positions of these two cards and make this more difficult okay now at this point all I have to do is I have to deal all the black cards here instead of dealing over here so right now I just changed the entire thing and I have to deal all the black cards, sorry, the red cards over here instead of dealing over here. So let's start dealing again. I think this is a red card. I'm this is red and I think this is black. This is red and this is black. So based on my intuition, I divided the cards into two piles, right? And let's see right at this point how much perfect I was on dealing these cards. So at this point, I'm just going to spread this deck of cards at first, spread this pile of cards. And let's see, you can see, I almost did it correctly. I only got one card wrong. That is this one, the four of hearts. Except for that, you can see all the black cards over here and all the red cards over here. Just like that, if I look at this pile, you can see, just the opposite all the red cards over here and all the black cards over here right and this one is perfect because i didn't mess up with this one but i did mess up with this pile i got the four of hearts in the wrong place right now at the beginning you selected this deck of cards you had this the entire time with you right so all i'm going to do is i'm just going to remove all these cards i'm just going to keep the four of hearts over here so that you can see what is going on and I'm just going to turn this deck over 
and you'll see all the cards are faced up except for one card right and that card is none other than the four of hearts so that was my prediction that I was going to uh, I could be messing up the four of hearts I could be messing up with the four of hearts and that's why I kept this card inverted in this deck of cards and you selected this deck of cards you kept it the entire time with you I didn't do anything with it so my prediction also went right and my intuition also went almost perfectly so that's what the card trick looks like let's see how you can do this card trick okay guys this is how the card trick is done now for this card trick uh, you need a little bit of setup obviously this is a self walking card trick but for this you actually need a little bit of setup and the setup that you need is right in front of your eyes so over here you can see 13 black cards then 13 random red cards then 13 black then 13 red you're going to arrange these cards in this type of uh, arrangement throughout the deck of cards okay and then after that after you take this deck out from the box what you're going to do is you're just going to look for the separation you're going to go for the exact center and you're going to refill through the cards just like that and over here as you can see I got the exact center we have a black card then over here we have a red card so we got the exact center and from here we are going to just part this deck into two halves and then we're going to do a riffle shuffle or a pharaoh shuffle with it now if you can do a good pharaoh shuffle go for a pharaoh shuffle if you can't do a pharaoh shuffle no need to worry you have to do a good a slightly smooth riffle shuffle so that you don't mess up with this trick so at this point let's say you do a riffle shuffle just like that and as you do a riffle shuffle I'm not going to square up the cards you're going to see that all the black cards are coming at the same position and all the red cards are coming at the same position now why I don't do a riffle shuffle is because of this reason you can mess up with the shuffle you can see that two black cards has gone into the red position and two red cards into the black position now obviously we have four misplaced cards and we have to fix it and we have to fix it at the time when you're looking at for the cards when you're looking inside the deck for the two random cards that you're going to place over here so at first I'm just gonna turn this deck towards me and then I'm just gonna go through these cards just like that and I'm gonna see for any messed up cards and as I see for any messed up cards what I do is I usually say that okay I'm, I'm searching for two random playing cards one red and one black and in that disguise I take out one black and one red card and as you can see over here I have these two cards misplaced right so all I'm going to do is I'm going to accidentally drop one of these cards and then I'm just going to take these two cards and I'm just going to take this card right over here and put it back okay so that it looks like an accident and for the spectator it looks like that these are two selections because they are looking from that side they won't be able to see anything that's happening over here because they're going to see the back side of the cards so at this point you're going to take these two cards and you're going to keep it right over here now at this point you will know that there is all the black cards right over here not the 26 but 25 black cards and over here you have the 25 red cards because the one black is over here and the other red is over here so at this point all you're going to do is you are going to ask your spectators to deal the cards in two piles just like that if you if the spectator feels that it's a red card then you're going to deal it over here if they feel it's a black card then they're going to deal it right over here okay so that's how they're going to deal it and after you feel like that they have come close to the half of the deck all you're going to do is okay let me go let me go at random pace just like that so you feel that they have reached the half of the deck at this point all you're going to do is you're going to switch the cards and this is important because otherwise you're going to have all the black cards and red cards at this point and all the black cards and red cards at this point without changing these two cards and the spectators will see that you have messed up the entire thing so you have to change these two cards that is very important so after changing these two cards you just uh, want your spectator to keep dealing these cards and they are just going to keep dealing on randomly even though they are thinking that they are doing the right thing so they are just going to keep dealing on just like that and after they deal just like that they have to deal one at a time I did deal two at a time over here just by mistake but it's okay I they have to deal one at a time and after the deal after the deal is over you will know that over here if you see clearly you will see red cards and black cards 
and over here you'll see the same thing the red cards and black cards and over here if you look carefully the order is actually the same the red cards are over here and the black cards are over here but you have to make them look like that they have dealt the black cards later and the red cards later okay so for that reason all you're doing is you're taking these two deck of cards and one you are spreading in this way and the other you are spreading in the opposite way and as you do that as you spread these two cards this deck in this way and this uh, this part in the opposite way you will see that these cards will actually go on the opposite side even though you'll see that the top cards are the red but the spectators will feel that this red cards were over here and the red cards are over here so they'll feel that they are separate even though you dealt the red cards at the same time now that's how the trick actually works now if you want to mess up with any card then all you have to do is all you have to do is you have to have this deck of cards and then you have to put one of the cards that you want to mess up with inside the center of the other colored cards okay and then you're going to go for a shuffle you're going to look for the partition over here and then you're going to go for the shuffle and basically you will have to do the same thing okay you're not going to actually take out that messed up card that you intentionally put inside the center that is right over here you're just going to take these two cards out and then keep on dealing just like that now i'm gonna fast forward this so that you know what is going on okay so uh, as you saw I interchanged these two cards in between and then as I spread this deck of cards as I spread this pile of cards these two piles of cards separately you will see that there is one messed up card within one of these piles so one I spread that side and the other one I'll spread in the opposite direction so over here you'll see all the black cards and all the red cards over here you'll see all the black cards and all the red cards and over here you'll see the nine of hearts that I intentionally put in the center before starting so that I can mess up with this card and that's how I made my prediction because I kept the four of hearts inverted in the other deck of cards I kept the four of hearts over here inverted because I kept the four of hearts in this pile I kept the four of hearts within the center of the black cards and that's how i messed up with the four of hearts intentionally and made it look like it's real magic now that's what also happened at agt that's what matt franco did with the human deck of cards and that's it with the tutorial so i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did so and don't forget to follow me on instagram at shoelazari also if you have any questions you can use the comment section for that and don't forget to subscribe to my other channel which is a channel like post entertaining videos and gameplays over there and the link to the channel will be given right in the description box as well as in the cards and don't forget to smash the subscribe button of this channel if you're not a subscriber yet and turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss my upcoming videos and my future smack them the episodes peace